from Chile. Lifeboard team is proud to present the Lifeboard Intera solution. The disability is not only about a medical condition, but it is more the result of the damage interaction between physical, mental, or sensorial impediments, along with the culture, the social institutions, and the physical media. Said in a different way, they have been denied the access to education, market labor, public services, and finally, we find they have had denied access to technology. Therefore, they have been denied the possibility of social insertion. This type of exclusion heads to depression and poverty and becomes a vicious circle. Poverty heads to a major disability because the vulnerability of these people increases due to the lack of knowledge and ignorance regarding to basic subjects. Today, approximately 10% of the world population, more than 677 million of people, suffered sort of some kind of disability. 80% of them live in underdeveloped countries. A lot of these people cannot use technology because of their physical limitations, which excludes them from the world we all live involved in. So things as normal as getting access to word processors instant messengers, email accounts, and internet applications are not a possibility in any way for most of disabled people. This solution will reduce the impact of the disability condition and also will satisfy the right to the quality of life of the people with special needs helping them to become socially integrated along with providing them an easy access to education and much more. Lifeware Intera is a software that includes a set of tools for people with physical limitations and unable to get access to a computer by themselves. This software allows them to fully use a computer and its applications. The software works as an interface, which means it allows the interaction between the disabled person and the computer without the constant assistance of other people during the process of using the computer. To achieve this, Lever Integra utilizes a device named Epoch, developed by a modem system company. It uses a set of 14 sensors to turn into electric signals produced by the brain to detect player thoughts, feelings, and expressions and it connects wirelessly to most computers. Also, it contains two gyroscopes able to let us know the information regarding the exactly position of the user's neck. With all these characteristics, we have come to simulate the functions of a mouse and a traditional caver as well, allowing the access to the computer to anyone that couldn't do it before. But Lifeware Integra 
is so much more than that. At the beginning of each level in Theta Software session, the disabled person must count with an assistant that helps to get him or her closer to the computer and to run the program. First of all, to choose the profile of the user comes in first place. If the user doesn't have one, can easily and quickly create one. Once the profile has been chosen, the program starts running. The main screen of the computer displays the status of the saline sensors, providing a visual help to place the headset in the correct way in the user's head. The first time the Lifeware Integra software is used by a disabled person, a diagnosis must be done in order to determine which expressions are more explorable and to train the expressions used if it's necessary. Which teaches to Lifeware Integra the specific form in which every user realizes a certain facial expression. It is also necessary to determine the specified sensibility of the facial expressions that we want to detect, in order that false positives do not happen, or, on the contrary, the detection becomes very hard to get. In addition, the configurations related to the use of the mouse and of the keyboard must be chosen. In order to remain saved in the user's profile for a later use. For example, the action that will simulate the movement of the mouse in each axis must be chosen being an option the movement of neck, cognitive buses or facial expressions, or other ones. The reason to have different options to use the mouse is due to the existence of people with reduced mobility on their necks or people only capable of moving it on one axis, whether the X or Y axis which implies they need to replace this deficiency with other actions. In addition, if the level of movement of the patient is very limited, there have been enabled options for different levels of sensibility in the movement of the mouse, which allows to multiply the movement sacrificing precision to manage the access to any zone of the screen to return then to the normal sensibility to be able to choose the specific place the user would like to be reached. Among the configuration, there is also the choice of selecting actions to do with each of the facial expressions or cognitive train buses. This link is realized simply choosing each of the options from a list box. Some actions of the mouse are left click, double left click, right click, left handed support click to change access to open keyboard, to synthesize text, to silent mouse, and to open contextual menu. The use of this tool named contextual menu is required because a lot of disabled persons are capable of realizing only one or two facial expressions in an optimal way. Therefore, they do not get to link to all of the options 
that make easier and complete the use of the computer with different facial expressions. Therefore, a secondary menu is open with more options of actions to realize. For which, with only one expression, the contextual menu can be reached at any moment and the contextual menu may contain a lot of more actions after the calibration, training and personalization the user is ready to get access to the computer and its applications without restrictions being able to do whatever she or he needs to do the virtual keyboard allows the user to write on any situation as he or she would do with a real keyboard. All the known and existing characters are available. Other important interaction has been the chance to utilize voice commands in order to interact with the operating system making possible to open and close programs, minimize and maximize windows, to go to certain folders in a specific spot back and forward as my computer. This option was created thinking about the variety of circumstances of the disabled people. Their mouse movement could be slow so they would need a tool with easy access as, for example, the voice to realize specific actions. Some other functionality have been added as well, because we have tried to think of most of the disabled people's limitations. For example, for those without the capability of speaking, it is possible to synthesize easily text by selecting them and choosing the option to synthesize. Is another functionality thought on physical limitations of the computer user. It is a remote control operated from the computer which allows the user to manipulate diverse electronic devices distantly through the computer. For this case, the user would use the infrared technology. LifeWire and Data Software Solution was developed throughout the 2010 year, being narrowly related to Teleton, the most important foundation of rehabilitation of young people up to 26 years that suffer physical disabilities in Chile. The Teleton Foundation started in 1978 and the system has been copied and established in 13 other countries in America and Europe. This had made possible the formation of the Teletones International Organization. This narrow collaboration in the development of the program allowed us to know personally the problems which disabled teenagers were facing, as for technological cooperation had to do with, and it allowed us to receive directly from the medical nursery of the institution the requirements in order to become a help for the teenagers. Also, it was possible to try the program on diverse patients with different types of diseases and disabilities, managing to add and to improve the functionalities of the software LifeWare Integra.